The counteroffensive continues, and we slowly push the fascists back from Moscow. Resistance is tough, however. Apparently, the Germans have been ordered to hold their ground, and they are doing so rather well. But we will break them, it's just a matter of time. In addition to this, the rest of the world has been plunged into chaos. On December 7th, the Japanese attacked the United States at Pearl Harbor, and later, on December 11th, Germany declared war on the Americans. Together, the USSR and the United States will crush our fascist foes as allies. In addition to all the world news, I was promoted to senior lieutenant. The ceremony was nice and short. Hopefully, I will be given command of my own squadron soon enough. Of course, this requires me not to meet the same fate as so many of my comrades who have given their lives for our motherland. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Battle of Moscow series. Today we are taking off and engaging enemy bombers just across the front lines here. And I believe I can roll now. Okay, let's throttle up. Try to keep our nose nice and steady here. Today we are loaded up with two 12.7 machine guns in the nose. And then we also have our gun pods as we are going up against bombers, which are 12.7 millimeters as well. So we have pretty much have 450 cals. That should pack quite a punch. Okay, we are up. That was a little, a little shaky there. It's difficult to see looking straight into the freaking sun there look at that <laughs> well, let's kind of duck down here try to avoid that gear is up everything is looking normal check make sure a little bit there we go oh my goodness this is going to be awful i am number three in position i do believe six of us are going up enemies have been spotted our forward observers are relaying that it looks like they are near kubinka oh shoot where are my comrades? I believe they took, made a right-hand turn here. There they are. There they are. Okay. <laughs> Very difficult to see with the sun right in your face. A few updates on the series, however. I do want to let you all know that first, Yuri has been promoted, so hopefully I will be commanding the squadron relatively soon. Also, I have bumped up the career pace to rapid and medium. I kind of fluctuate between the two. Mostly because these last two phases of the Battle of Moscow campaign are rather long. And, uh, you know, at the current pace, this series would be, uh, you know, maybe 100 episodes. <laughs> and I do kind of want to switch it up, have different phases and whatnot. Uh, and I do want to have quite a bit of time with Yuri in Stalingrad and stuff. So uh, that is why I have switched the campaign pacing to rapid. And all that means is more days pass in between sorties. We did fly a mission on December 11th, 1941, and we did not encounter anything uh, during that mission. We just flew around, protected some of our ground units. Um, there were supposed to be ground attackers, but they never showed. I guess we just scared them off. But I do have a feeling we are going to get some action today. Another bomber intercept mission. Our favorites, that's right. But I just wanted to let you all know that. So if uh, the dates between episodes, the in-game dates, seem rather long, uh, that is the reason. Okay, our formation is getting quite ahead of us. I did take the additional 12.7. I also took 100% fuel. This plane is going to be a hog. That is for sure. Um, I do. I did take the 12.7s in the nose. They probably have the default loadout. Um, that's probably a little bit lighter for sure. So there is that. But it looks like now that we're leveling up, leveling out, I am starting to catch up to the targets. Let's keep our eyes peeled for enemy bombers, and there they are. Actually, I do see them. You probably don't due to uh, YouTube's compression. We are going to climb up, and this is one benefit of me being a flight leader when the time comes. If I start climbing up rapidly, my AI comrades will follow, and they will have an altitude advantage as well. But as it stands now, I'm the only one who is climbing up. 
but I'd rather have that advantage. They are engaging. There's a boatload of fighters up there. Thankfully, we are over friendly lines. That does make this a little bit easier. <laughs> if we were intercepting them over their lines, it would be quite dangerous. Okay. There's the bombers down there. Climbing up. We're pretty much at the fighter's height. Passing three kilometers now. Okay. The bombers are probably HE-111s. That seems to be what is operating in this area. Haven't seen any JU-88s. There's the bombers, of course. All right, let's roll in. Good luck, Yuri. See what we can grab here. Hey, this HE-111. Okay, get out of here. Keep diving. Hey, we are away. I don't think I really got any hits that time, but we will climb up and try again. Looks like the fighters are tangling with a few of our MiGs. I'm going to stick with the bombers. That is our mission. Don't want any of these guys getting to Moscow or whatever the heck they're bombing. Maybe some facilities. Okay, diving in. Go for this guy. Aim for that right engine. Okay, hit him pretty good. Pull back up. Can't tell if that HE-111 is going down. I was kind of hoping I'd start an engine fire. What the hell is that on my 6 o'clock? Okay, that HE-111 is going down. There are shoots. being shot at 109 crap and our plane is full of fuel and we are low which is not good for us slow down okay try to reverse this here I think we've done it Come on, come on, Yuri. All right, pulling up. Almost got him. Few hits. Is that a fire? No, he's leaking oil. Check our six o'clock and climb. Start boosting. Shit. That was too close. That guy came. There's one on our. Jeez, all these head ons. I'm not even seeing them. In the freaking sun. Okay, let's swing around. We're leaking fuel. I think that's it. If that's the case, I'm not too worried about that. I think. Is that 109 going down? No, it's not. Hey, it looks like we're tangling with 109s. These gun pods are awful <laughs> for this sort of thing. Okay, a 109 just passed behind us. That's the one that I've already hit. Where did this other one go? Shit. Oh my god. Come on, Yuri. Okay, I'm gonna have to belly land here somewhere. The plane is essentially uncontrollable. 
Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Okay, we're good. Jeez, what the hell just hit me there? There's one that that bastard I hit is leaking oil all over the places on me. Let's find a, a nice field. Still on me. He's going to hit me if I don't emergency land here. Gun it. Let's head east. There's a field up ahead. Maybe suitable. There's more shoots. Looks like another bomber has been hit. Crap, there's two of them on my six, guys. Oh no, this is... I think this is it for our plane. Okay, we're going to drop gear. Actually, I'm not even going to drop gear. We're belly landing. Oh gosh. Just don't hit any trees. They got us good. I was fine until that. Obviously, that was a cannon. Completely ruined me. That 109 is not going to last very long with that sort of damage. I'm going to sit here and watch him. And hope that fascist dog goes down. Because 109s with engine damage do not, do not last long at all. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just going to sit here. Thankfully, we are over friendly lines. I wonder where we crash landed. We're near a town. It may be actually right around here. Well, I just got credit for that plane. So that 109 did end up going down. There's the enemy bombers still way up there, but I suppose this is, uh, this is it right here. I guess we're walking back home, folks. Okay, despite our crash landing, it was a mission accomplished. We shot down two aircraft, one BF-109 and one HE-111. We were in the air for only 9 minutes and 33 seconds. Those 109s just really snuck up on me, honestly, in the sun. Um, that's definitely my mistake, and we're not going to let that happen again. Let's see where we crashed. Okay. Yeah, we crashed right here. That's where I was downed. Not too far away from our home airfield. It looks like maybe 9 kilometers, uh, give or take. And uh, I'm sure we will be picked up, and maybe... Maybe we can get our aircraft back. Maybe it'll be a new one. Who knows? We will see what happens to that, that beautiful machine. Quite a few enemies shot down. So two 109, three 109. Yeah, three 109s and one HE-111. Looks like, oh, they did bomb a factory facility. Okay, let's see how everyone else did. Hopefully no one else really got shot down. We're okay. That is, that's our first MiG we've lost. Really, like totally, and at least with the other MiG, I've kind of crash landed at our home airfield. And here we go, I've been awarded the Hero of the Soviet Union. Again, another one. <laughs> I'll take it. The Order of Lenin. 1,000 rubles, 1,000 rubles, and 25 combat sorties, 3,000 rubles. 
So I now have two of these, I think. I have two Heroes of the Soviet Union and two Orders of Lenin. Right, let's go to Yuri here. And this will be a good time to show off all of our accomplishments. Yeah, two. I have two of them. Look at that. What a guy. What a guy. Order of Lenin. Yeah, I have two Orders of Lenin. Order of the Red Banner. I have two of those. Two Orders of the Red Star. Wow, we are... We are loaded, and that brings our total up to 31 aircraft destroyed. That is more than I thought. 23 light aircraft, 1 medium, 6 heavy, and 1 parked aircraft, which I guess we won't really count, but 31 planes. Um, if we go to the world news here, you can see we are on top. Yuri's still on top with 31 aircraft. Ivan here is number 2 with 22 aircraft down. So Yuri's doing pretty good for himself, despite this setback. Um, let's go to the planning room, and it looks like this fellow, Rostolov, was wounded, but no one was killed, and altogether, we shot down four enemy aircraft. Hell yeah, guys. Um, yeah, pretty darn good, despite our shortcomings. Anyway, that'll be it for today. I know it's a bit of a shorter episode. Unfortunately, I don't have any more time, because I did previously uh, fly that earlier mission where we didn't encounter anything, but I hope you all enjoyed this nonetheless. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.